So you have recently gone through a breakup or perhaps it's already a few months ago and you've tried to hook up with girls, you've tried to establish something intimate with someone, but it simply just feels off. You simply can't really connect with the person, they remind you of your ex, it's not really working, okay? What can you do? I have found myself in this exact situation many times, okay? After my breakups, I usually wanted to, as fast as possible, get some kind of female feminine energy in my life. I hooked up with girls, I did crazy things in order for me to get over my ex faster, or so I thought I would. But somehow, internally, I felt that it was not sitting right with me. I was not ready, okay? And that's absolutely okay, right? It might feel off. And I am a firm believer that this is a message of our subconscious telling us that we're not ready yet, okay? We need more time. We need more time to figure out ourselves. We need more time to discover what we really care about in life, okay? Because a breakup is really, it, it shakes up your world. It absolutely always shakes up my world completely. It puts everything upside down. And I go through a very tumultuous process, okay? But I also reinvent myself in that process, always. I start new things, I take massive action, I improve myself, I grow, I meet a lot of interesting people, and I hook up with a lot of girls, but it feels off, okay? It feels off and that's okay, all right? And I used to judge myself for that. I used to want to feel as if it was the right thing. I used to want to feel that, no, I, I am ready. I wanted to force myself to be ready. But going through these experiences, the more I learned to listen to my intuition, my feeling, okay? I came to understand that it's not right. It's, it's not right and I'm not ready. And, and that way you can allow yourself to move through this stage. Because at first I was in denial. Okay, I was really in denial, just trying to hook up with as many girls as I could. And gradually it started to dawn on me that, okay, this is, this is not the right thing to do. Okay, it really isn't because I can really connect and what is the point of spending time doing this when all you want is connection, okay? But then, once I started to realize that I, I'm looking for connection, but I can't feel it because I'm not ready, right? So, accepting that I wasn't ready took me a long time. It was, it was hard for me to accept that because I didn't want to accept that. I didn't want to allow someone else to have this kind of power over me in a way, right? Because I felt like the relationship ended and now it has so much power over me. And I don't want that, so I resist that. And so I try to deny that. It doesn't work like that. It really doesn't. And so one of the things that really helped me accept that is to embrace this feeling, to acknowledge that, okay, what do you need? I'm looking for connection but I'm afraid to open up. I'm afraid to share my fears. And the first step to overcome that fear, that resistance, is to acknowledge it and then to share it, okay? At first I was not talking about my previous relationships with the girls I was hooking up with at all, okay? But that caused me to experience some kind of wall. I couldn't allow myself to open up because I was afraid. I was afraid that they would judge me. I was afraid to accept the fact that I was still not really over my ex-girlfriends. And so it didn't allow me to connect because I was actually preventing myself from connecting by not opening up about what was actually going on, okay? And when you are not doing that, it, the, the connection can't flow. Fear is blocking the connection from being formed, okay? So, after I realized this, I started to gradually open up to a few girls. I started to talk to them about, okay, I'm still actually really struggling with my previous um, relationship. I, I haven't fully let go of my ex-partner and, and it's painful. And surprisingly enough, most of them were really understanding. 
okay and you don't want to play the victim and wallow in self-pity and try to gain their sympathy that is not at all what it's about okay it's really not about that it's about allowing yourself to share what you're currently experiencing you don't want to try and gain their sympathy by talking about these things that is very unattractive okay that's really unattractive to act like a crybaby with, with, with the girls trying to gain their sympathy that is that is not what you want to do okay it's really unattractive and it's again a way of preventing yourself from be, being truly open truly vulnerable because it's almost like an act it's almost like a play and I fell into that trap I tried to play a little bit of the the hurt person and and I was not really actually being vulnerable all right so be careful with that but once you learn to truly embrace the state you're in and you can share that vulnerably openly the right people will resonate with that and that acknowledgement and understanding is going to be incredibly healing now you want to be careful with not using someone for this okay you don't want to use a person to make you feel better it's not about that it's more about allowing yourself to cross the boundary of not speaking about these things not speaking about these things in an environment where it might be a little bit scary to do so all right because talking to your best friend about how your heart is broken that is relatively easy but talking to a girl that you're hanging out with and that you're perhaps romantically interested in etc that's a whole other ballpark so it took me a long time to arrive at that point where I could genuinely and openly communicate about the hurt that I was experiencing from my previous breakups and that that really helped to speed up the healing process so if you find yourself in this situation and you feel like you're meeting girls and it feels off you can't really connect you might want to question your behaviors and you might want to see if you're perhaps hiding some things or you're perhaps not really opening up like you should be because you you have to move past this first otherwise you will keep hiding and you will never move past this feeling of not being able to connect okay so you have to move past and so the first few girls they might listen to your story and they will realize okay this guy is really not ready to date so they they cut you off okay some of them they stay some of them they cut you off depending on what they're looking for I've had a few girls cut me off I had a few girls stay um, because this is the risk you take okay but you have to move past this you have to be willing to share openly where you're at because if you don't you are also kind of keeping them on a leash you are not really genuine and open about where you're at and that is not the right thing to do okay you want to communicate as clearly and openly as possible with anyone okay because otherwise you can cause hurt feelings and missed expectations and that is that is not what you want you want to avoid that as much as possible okay so if you find yourself in a situation where it feels difficult to connect with other people and you desperately want to perhaps you still need a little bit more time perhaps you still need to acknowledge the fact that you are not ready yet and that's okay all right there is so much more to life than just relationships there's so much more to life than just you know being intimate with people you can explore many facets of life you can go travel you can go start a business you can learn a new skill you can hang out with friends you can do anything you can get a pet you can there's so much stuff you can do all right so try to get your focus off of this uh, this this almost compulsive need to, to seduce girls or to connect with people and 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 see things from a broader perspective allow yourself the time the space it's okay it's okay that you're not ready yet it's fine you don't need to force it because if you're trying to force it it will backfire it always does it's way better to find a balance and to allow things to naturally flow and they will come into your life okay your next partner or your next love or your next whatever you are longing for is already on his or her way they're already coming towards you it's just a matter of time and the right circumstances synchronicity is happening and then you'll you'll find each other so so trust in that process have faith 
let go serve the ways of life don't resist things too much because that is that is causing a lot of internal struggles and, and suffering and you want to you don't want you don't want that you don't want that all right guys so i hope that was helpful if you have any questions or you find yourself in a similar situation feel free to leave a comment down below i read and reply to all of them if you like this video please leave a thumbs up this helps to expose the video to more people who might want to learn more about this topic and if you would like to support the channel one of the best ways to do that is by either clicking that subscribe button or sharing it with a friend who might want to hear about this and as always thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video